Hello, I'm Carolyn and this is the third video of using Interplate to design some cutting files. In this video I will show you how to create these. Start off by drawing a circle and then path, object to path. You must do that before you do anything else or you can get strange results. Now we need to duplicate it. Now if I hold down the control key as I drag the duplicate aside it will stay on line with the original. Just select both of them and go Effects, Generate from Path, Interpolate. Now we have some more options. Exponent stays at zero. I will change the steps to suit my project. Method will stay at one. Then I tick Live Preview. They're pretty close. Just like to, there we go, they overlap a bit more. So I'll tick Apply and Close. Now this is a group and we need to ungroup before I can make any more changes. So I go Object, Ungroup. Now I want these to be one piece. So I'll come along and go Path, Union. Now they're all joined together. You can actually cut those out if at this stage. Now to make the next side, I'll rotate sorry, I'll duplicate it first, then I'll rotate. Now to make it easier instead of having to drag this over, I'll show you a little trick. If I just change the colour, once these arrows are present, if you click on it again, a little cross turns up in the middle. And that's where the, the rotation is happening from. So if I just grab the little cross, and move it pretty close to the center of where I want it to rotate and then try again. As you can see it was pretty close. I'll just zoom in. Just line those up as accurate, the more accurate you get it the neater your finished result is. Now this row of circles is selected. I'll just hold shift and click on the other. So they're both selected. Go path union. Zoom out so you can see the next bit. Now I need another duplicate, so just duplicate. Now flip them horizontal, flip them vertical. Now as you can see, it's nicely lined them all up. So just hold down Shift and select the first part. Go Path Union. So now we have one part of the design I showed you at the beginning. If you duplicate that and just drag it aside, now the next two shapes are really easy. While this is selected, just come up Path, break apart, click off, then just drag those two apart. You get the scalloped looking square, and then you get the one that looks like a postage stamp. And that's how easy that is. If you'd like to see more, you can always visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.